Okay, here we are, part two of our live Instagram Q&A. We're welcoming YouTube here, guys, as we go live on Instagram once again. It's starting to get a little dark here. Obviously, I'm in Las Vegas. I'm out here for the month doing game, working, shooting content, uh, fighting YouTube about my videos getting removed for hate speech, especially when there's not even a single curse word in them. Um, but we're live once again. All right, um, answering your questions. So this is why you guys who are following me on YouTube, this is why you gotta follow me on Instagram too, at Matt Cross Official. That way you could ask me questions, just like all these guys, see? All these guys are asking me just whatever questions they want, and I'm sitting here answering them. I'm taking time to answer their questions, so make sure you add me on Instagram at Matt Cross Official. So let's get to the questions, guys. Okay, would you say things like congruence, Freedom from outcome, elevating your state is akin to being spiritual. I would say yes. Um, definitely when you get to a level of mastery and game and pick up, it just becomes spiritual. Like I said, it's weird. It's like you become the game, right? You become the game. Um, okay, let's take some more questions here. Thank you, Rodrigo. I appreciate your support. He says, uh, bro, love your YouTube channel. Thanks for what you do. Quick update, everyone. Uh, my YouTube video, Alpha Male Ghosts, that I appealed has just been reinstated on YouTube. The Empire Strikes Back. Okay, today we've been victorious. So this is why you guys who are YouTube content creators, man, if you get a strike for something like what had what just happened to me, you gotta fight that shit, right? You gotta fight it because today we won, right? We won today, so yay! Tack one up for the red pill. Okay, uh, yeah, stay on. Okay, I'll stay on for a little bit longer. Um, how has it been through the years dating women, and how have they changed, and how has your game changed? That's a great question, man. Okay, so when I first started doing game back in the late 80s, early 90s, uh, this is before smartphones, this is before social media, this is before the internet. And back then, all you needed to do was have the balls to approach a girl and get her phone number. And if that girl gave you her phone number back then, I would say nine out of 10 times, she would end up becoming your girlfriend. Because when a girl gave you her phone number back then, she was giving you her home phone number, okay? She wasn't giving you no cell phone number. She, there was no Snapchat. There was no Instagram. There was no Facebook, okay? All there was was her home phone, okay? That and her work phone. And usually she'd give you her work phone after, you know, she'd start talking to you for a while. But usually when you got a girl's number back then, I mean, really, she would become your girlfriend because you would call her at her home phone number Right, and then you would end up talking to her at home for hours, right? Even when you like, after you just meet the girl and you call her at home and she picks up the phone, she would stay on the phone with you and get to know you for like two to three hours. She would keep you on the phone. And then she'd feel comfortable enough to go on a date with you. Then you generally go on a date. And I'm not talking like, you know, like a bullshit date like kids go on now where they just meet up at like a Starbucks or freaking Chipotle or wherever. Um, it would be like a real dinner date. Like you would go with a girl to dinner and you would get to know each other more. You would probably kiss on that date and hold hands. And then the next date you, you know, generally end up having sex, you know? So, and then she'd become your girlfriend. I mean, so really back then, all you had to do was have the balls to approach a girl, which was very, very difficult back then because nobody did this shit, right? I would get so nervous, like approaching girls back then. I was like, so nervous to do it and even with my piss poor game like if i saw a girl i was attracted to was generally really cute i would force myself to do it because i knew that if i got the girl's phone number that we would end up being on the phone for hours and i would get that girl out on a date and then she'd end up becoming my girlfriend which she did nowadays shit's completely changed right because we got internet we got social media um, I mean, these girls, it's, it's insane. Like even at, dude, it's like, even at the club, these girls are, are on their phone looking at their Tinder at the club, 
when there are real life guys, you know, around them. It's insane. Whereas before, when I first started gaming, there was none of that shit. So back then, girls didn't like their form of entertainment was meeting guys. The problem was there weren't a whole lot of guys who had the balls to uh, walk up to them and just start talking to them. And the guys that did generally became their boyfriends, right? And this is why, like, if you look at some of my old photos, right, of me and some of my girlfriends back in the 90s, like, these girls were pretty friggin' hot, you know? And um, they were super hot. And today, it just, it's like, you have to have, like, <laughs> like a lot of skill in order to pull, like, that level of chick, you know? And um, a lot of it's, unfortunately, because of, like, social media, smartphones, and... You know, all of these things that have, like, really, really, like, amplified women's narcissism. It's crazy. Uh, let's see. Uh, could you give me an example of Dread Game? Yeah, you know, all Dread Game is, really, okay, don't complicate Dread Game. Because all Dread Game is, is long game, right? Instead of, like, trying to close a girl right away, you're just stretching it out. And really what Dread Game is is really causing the girl to feel that dread of not hearing from you or kind of like intermittently intermittently hearing from you right where you're not texting her all the time you're not like phoning her all the time sometimes you're like ghosting her right you're ghosting her from time to time so um you're kind of making her feel that that sense of loss right you're making her feel that sense of loss like shit what happened to him did he forget about me? How come he's not texting? He, I was just texting with him yesterday. We we're texting for like an hour straight. How did he? I haven't heard from him in, him in like two or three days now. And then all of a sudden the fourth day you hit her up, right? Like randomly, right? And then all of a sudden you ghost her for another couple of days. Then you hit her up. You know, that's all Dread Game is. You're just kind of like stretching it out, making her feel that dread. Um, okay, what do you think about women with tattoos? Uh, it's trashy. Uh, I don't like I don't like tattoos on women, especially like when they have the tramp stamp right right above their ass. Um, it's trashy. I don't like tattoos on women. Um, the YouTube people are some sissies. Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Um, and you sure you're not my brother from another mother? Who knows? We could be. Um, Lean Figure Army. He is a red pill guy on YouTube. Uh, I've never heard of him. Um, what is it? Lean figure army. Okay, maybe I'll look at it. Looks money status, dude. Yeah, yeah, LMS, uh, definitely online. I agree with that online. Yeah, online, if you're on Tinder, it's definitely looks. I really, it's just looks, right? Forget m money and status, it's just looks. Um, but offline, like in real life, no, it's, it's, there's a lot more to it. I mean, will looks help you offline? Of course, right? I, I just mentioned this earlier that like my, my wing i used to game with like a guy who was like a male model and it used to piss me off every time we approached girls like they would automatically be fixated on him but usually within a minute or two i would get the girl's attention off of his ass and get the focus and attention on me just by out gaming him right and that's the great thing about game is you could really level the playing field and my game was a lot stronger than his i mean he had great opening game because of his looks but beyond that no um i would i would talk his looks away every single time and then the girl would be like who's your friend who's your friend he's pretty hot too you know just because i had the 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 mdm the million dollar mouthpiece but yeah looks money status online uh i don't disagree with that i mean it's just looks <laughs> that's all girls care about because that's all they have to judge you on like on tinder and shit like that um Errol Hodge says, rejection, it's a blessing from these women, but it's our gain. Of course, yeah. Even the rejections, guys, when girls reject you, I mean, that's, you know, that should fuel you, right? It's It adds to your social momentum. It's not like, you know, that should never bring down your uh, your state. When you're new or even when you're an intermediate first uh, cold approaching girls and she rejects you hard or she blows you out, um, yeah, when you're first starting out, man, it's going to crush you. <laughs> it's not gonna feel good, right? You're gonna go home. You're gonna like, oh, I don't want to do this pickup anymore. They're all scam, Rodriguez, scam, 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 right? 
And then if you push through and, uh, you know, assuming you don't go black pill, you push through all that um, and you just keep going back out there and you just deal with re rejection after rejection, you begin to laugh at it. It becomes hilarious to you, right? Rejection, when a girl rejects you, it starts to become funny because you start to like find it just so hilarious that these girls could get so like just so upset and so worked up over you just approaching them and telling them you think they're cute or you just wanted to say hi and then here they are freaking out oh my god you know like freaking out over it you, you it starts to look like a comedy to you like girl why are you so angry with life why do you hate life so much you know i mean you start to like laugh at the stuff and it just fuels you even more and you're just like you know you just move on to the next girl and the next girl after that you'll become like the joker when it comes to rejections right <laughs> Uh, let's see, he disagrees with you and says that L looks money status is more, much more important than game. Um, who said that? Yeah, looks money status. I mean, again, these guys who are part of the LMS, we call it looks money status crowd. <clears throat> when they got, when these guys try to make their case that it's all about looks money status and if pickup doesn't matter, when they try to make their case, what do these all guys always do? They always use online game they always use online dating sites like tinder bumble or any of these other online dating sites to prove their point point. and it's like duh if you do if you do online game of course that's all that's gonna matter is your looks because the girl can't judge you any other way but when you're not a pussy and you actually go out there and you do cold approach like a real man guess what you can level the playing field if you have even just decent game right if you just have social acuity and you're not a social retard and you know how to talk to girls and you're charismatic and you don't walk up with like a looking like you have a shit ton of agenda just be a cool guy <laughs> just have some game right you could really level the playing field but online i don't disagree with these guys yeah you if you're online on tinder guess what it's about your looks duh i'm not disagreeing with that because that's all a girl has to judge you on this is why i don't do online game do i ever teach online game no i've said it a thousand times i'm a cold approach pickup artist i approach girls in real life so yeah man these uh looks money status guys dude <laughs> they're always using um like online dating sites to try to like make their point like look see it's all about looks and it's like duh duh motherfucker of course online it's all about looks but you know what for guys who actually go out there and approach girls in real life guess what it's more than just looks i've said it over and over and i'm a guy who's been out there for a long long time and like i said i've had wings who are male models man and i've seen this up close and i've been able to just talk away these guys looks like that right could I do it online if we were both on Tinder? Probably not. They would win. They would win, right? Because they're male models, they got the six pack abs, the girls would choose them. But offline, I win, right? It's not all about LMS off offline in real life. Okay, had, has women's attitude towards being approached changed from the 90s to today? Yeah, absolutely, of course, right? Because back in the 90s, Again, no smartphones, no social media, no Instagram. Uh, they didn't have thousands of beta orbiters liking all their photos, being like, oh my gosh, you're a goddess girl, even though the chick's like a four. They didn't have that back then, right? So um, they didn't have the egos that they do now. So yeah, uh, it's definitely, the game has definitely, uh, women's attitudes have definitely changed from the 90s to today. It definitely, definitely takes a different level of game. Um, and I teach that in Seven Months of Mastery, my program. Um, I teach that, you know what? These days, you, you do have to nag the girl a bit and you do have to kind of take her off of her pedestal depending on how high she's on that pedestal. Like what she thinks her value is, her social value is compared to what it actually is, right? Because if there's like a big enough discrepancy between what she thinks her social value is versus what it actually is, then you know what? You gotta you gotta let her know, right? You gotta let her know. 
Um, and that's why I tell these girls, you know, hey, just because you have like thousands of beta orbiters liking your photos, um, <laughs> you know, that doesn't mean anything. It's like, don't compare your 10,000 beta orbiter following to my, you know, 3,000 solid alpha male following. Oh, great, dude. This is about to cut me off in 28 seconds, man. Uh, let's see. All right, we're going to keep rolling on this.